hello guys and i'm back with another video this one is going to focus on the tier 3 mage class line and kind of skipped the first two because gear is pretty much negligible there you're going to be looking for the best things you're getting because you're not going to be getting that much unless you do an early an early boost with a person's castle in their hometown but even getting such an early way vessel might be difficult so just grinding out the first two tiers is recommended you'll get some arena tokens ensure you have your gear prepared that's what we're going to talk about now and as i'm explaining the tier 3 gear you'll understand what you will need for tier 2 gear in case you are trying to look into tier 2 gear so i'll switch over to the website and we're going to focus on weapons first so i'm just going to scroll through the weapons so you guys can see them all in one go and then i will go back and i will recommend the ones i like so the ankh is from the lost pharaoh and that is the tier 3 boss so that's that one is really easy to get if you are tier 3 and you have monster remains well i wouldn't say easy but if you have a way vessel or you have yeah if you have a way vessel and you have a friend who has monster remains that person can summon some for you and it's not a staff so you're not going to get proficiency which i imagine the class gets this early yes it should you're not going to get proficiency but it is a pretty decent early game weapon for when you even you're in a tough situation and you don't have mana you can use the attack button with this weapon so the other weapon i'm going to recommend is the drachman staff and that one is from Dracon the boss and that's another tier 3 boss I will just click on the lost pharaoh so you guys see what you're looking for so those are the two things that drop that weapon those weapons and this one I like it for the additional 20 mana because your mana pool is so low your mana pool is so low even with the passive that gives you 5% less it takes five percent less mana when you cast spells i believe it's still expensive this one is another good one this one is another good one and this one is from a mob but you only see these in dungeons or at night so that's a pretty decent one and you realize it has eight more mana and you're just trying to stack mana at the moment this one isn't bad either it has a big magic stat but i really like the balance between mana and what would i call that no magic <laughs> yes i'm sorry guys so i might be a few drinks in but this is when i'm best like i'm most i'm most pleased and happiest to do these videos i love doing the videos in general but like i can just flow through it like this without you know any type of boredom or anything so wisp drops this one this one gives 40 hp pretty decent too honestly but you guys don't have to worry about this stuff but i know that the grind from tier 3 to tier 4 for some people especially if they don't have friends who are helping them through dungeons is going to be a bit of a rough one i don't want to spend the most time on this but the gist of what you're looking for is a good mana stat and a good magic stat so that's what you're gonna look for that's all you're going to look for um some of these things have elemental elements on them but you're going to be using the spell of your element early game for that 25 percent damage increase so you are definitely not going to even need a stuff like this because you the the elements on staffs 
are only for the physical hit so when you use your attack button basically i'm not sure if twin blast is affected i'm not sure i'll have to test that but for now just know that it affects the attack button the most i'm gonna go on to armor now and this website is so well done that it's pretty much easy to do stuff like this so this one now boots of fire it is one of the first items you're going to experience early game that has the innate ability to resist an element so this means that when you're fighting lower tier mobs you will be able to resist their fire damage if they do fire damage or any tier mobs really or even the bosses anything that does fire damage will now do it at a reduced rate you'll now be able to resist and i think it's about 50 percent that the resistance is i don't like these boots though because i like a good balance and most of the mobs you're going to face in the world are probably going to be balanced between melee and just not doing fire stuff so that one is for personal preference but i just thought i had to explain that boots of wolves are decent they have both defense and res stat similar so they aren't bad but they're kind of bad in comparison to some of the better stuff so this one is one of the better items now the quartz garment and that has as you'll see double the amount because this is only from the normal mob while this is from some well this is actually from a normal no this is a this is a night only mob yes great vampire is the the tier four night only and the tier five woods only boss is also pretty much inaccessible at this tier so you're gonna have to get lucky and find this night only creature if you want this piece of gear so that's why i said like even this like it's fine too like count stuff is really good but the grind for it isn't worth it unless you're planning to stay in a tier three for a while so this is the reward from a quest and then you can get this at the end of dungeons so this one is received from high elf dalan i think there's a picture of her yes cool so you speak to her you'll get this quest you defeat five vampires and then this you'll get this as a reward and better quality ones will start dropping after you have completed dungeons so at the end of dungeons so this is another quest and by the same person for another piece of the gear this one is more of an arena gear like an all out arena type build because you'll notice it has a magic stat and it has high res so it's strong against mages but weak against warriors but you'll be doing a lot of damage so you should be fine the dark mage hood is a really good one another night only mob though but only a normal mob and probably a lot easier to find than even the vampires fur coat another good one from the animal kingdom hellhound it's pretty decent it has two decks on it but decks isn't going to be that important right now so as i said i think you would have been noticing a pattern now so the hood of wolves is actually really strong wow that is really strong okay so this is another night only mob and you'll realize that mobs that are weather specific or have conditions that need to be met to see them will have better gear than normal ones and you know that gear will scale with bossing bosses like normal mobs will have decent gear and then bosses will have their own gear and as both gears are upgraded you'll realize that there's a difference in either adornment slots or quality of the gear when upgraded based on the quality 
and stuff like that i hope i'm making sense if i'm not you can ask questions in the comment sections below and yeah i think we've already gone through all of the good armor this one is an all right armor i'll now go through some accessories because accessories and even off hands are off hands aren't really necessary i would say just dual wield staves <laughs> honestly so you have twin blast as another option for attack that way you can world farm on zero mana and still have a spell but these are some of the accessories and off hands available so these are accessories now this one gives you poison immunity the antidote pendant this one gives you 50 mana and you can put two of these in so you can have a hundred mana and that's if you're actually using spells like if you're about to fight a boss these two of these aren't the worst things you can put in you don't really use ward early game so this is a bit irrelevant this is another accessory that is dropped by the great mimic and it gives you a slight increase in your gold after killing monsters um the crystal eye is an interesting little item i would say for world farming depending on the quality you have it can be decent base quality is kind of trash so arrows are more of a thieves thing but they are actually all classes i've never tried arrows on a mage class before that i might have to look into um this is a really good one green crystal you can slot two of these in for an additional 50 magic stat when you're doing the twin blast method for world farming if you're going to be um for the 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 scrolls um, I don't really recommend scrolls, but you can try them out. There is, there is no, there is no, what would I call it now? No downside to it. So this is a view distance item and I thought I'd show it because it's an interesting one. Because you do need view distance, but you can also find view distance items in the lanterns that you find in normal shops. So, if you have a friend that has a wave vessel and you have a wave vessel, you can go over to his place if he has shops and you can ask him to renew them for you until you have found a few things that you're looking for. So, it wouldn't just be lanterns that you're looking for in a person's shop because that's another great place to search for even gear and equipment and um, it's the same thing. <laughs> but yes so i'm just passing these because they're okay this one is if you find yourself going into a boss and you're dying too easily and you're trying to like stun it or like like reduce its hp slowly so you need a little hp and you need to heal up some hp so it doesn't one shot you but and by now you know what i'm going to say you can slot two in and you'll have 100 hp just how useful that will be you'll have to test it for yourself but yeah i think that will end this video today i'm gonna hop back over here and just show you the class again the abilities so spells as i said cost five percent less mana if you're walking around you're doing world farming or just walking around searching for dungeons or stuff like that which i i don't recommend walking around searching for dungeons but I recommend walking around and doing dailies, looking for new places, just stretching your legs around a safe area and doing some GPS content. But for dungeons, you're definitely going to want to be on Discord and join dungeon sharing parties or dungeon sharing servers or just the general Discord servers all have dungeon sharers in them. The Orna server and the Orna Legends server have the most sharers. The Orna Legends server in particular. So just type in Orna Legends and you'll be able to find persons who are sharing dungeons and even persons who will help you through dungeons. So, and as I said, this, okay, so not staffs, archie staffs. Interesting. So you're going to want to try to get an archie staff for 
I believe it is a 10% um, increase from the preferred weapon bonus. But I will have to confirm that. And you can get this class from one of these three classes. The Archmage, Warlock or the Frost Mage. I hope this was useful. I will do a tier 4-1 very soon. Maybe right now after this video. So stay tuned.